Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, spending some time with me. I try to make my reviews, what, eight, 10 minutes long, so it's not a big commitment, but you and I get to sit down, share a moment, and talk about our favorite thing in the world, magic, right? Magic tricks. Every single day, what I do is I go through the greatest and the latest magic tricks hitting the shelves and review them, and then on the weekends, I review playing cards and once a month, I do really big giveaways. Gonna do big giveaways all this year. So if you like free stuff, and who doesn't, you really should consider hitting like, subscribe, and follow. Push all those buttons. Uh, this is No from Paul Fowler. No, K-N-O-W, is kind of a play on words uh, because we're using Uno cards. U-N-O, Uno cards. And if you've played Uno before, and who hasn't, right? You know it's a matching game where you can either match colors or numbers. There's also skips and reverses and draw two, draw four, wild cards, right? There's all those. And it's a lot of fun. Ironically, I got a deck of Uno cards uh, for Christmas this year. I, got, I, I wanted Mandalorian cards because I have a lot of Star Wars stuff. Uh, on my wish list, so uh, my family got me Mandalorian Uno, which is awesome. Um, last year, I got my kid the Uno Ultimate game, the one with Marvel characters, where you can build your deck uh, according to the, your favorite Marvel character. So we have that one too. But then there's classic Uno that everybody loves. What you're gonna do in No, uh, Paul Fowler has come up with a way to do the tossed out deck routine with a deck of Uno cards. And you'll be able to do this both in a close-up setting or in a large parlor or stage setting. He's gonna show you uh, how he does this in both. So, what do you get with No? First of all, No is a download, okay? It's a download. You're gonna get a 30-minute file and you're gonna get all the instructions to make your own deck and Paul's gonna give you several ideas which will take you out of the realm of the tossed out deck and maybe into some other areas of mentalism. And we'll talk about that. So 30 minute file, Paul's in a kind of office setting. He's got a blue backdrop. There's a couple of instances where he stands up taller and has the camera come in so you can see all the cards. But essentially, after you get the download, you're gonna have to go out and purchase some Uno decks. So I did some of the research for you, went over to Amazon. Turns out you can get two decks of Uno cards for 10 bucks. You're gonna need four. You're gonna need four decks of Uno cards to do this routine, which means you'll spend an additional $20 making your deck. So $20 to make a tossed out deck is a really good price, right? It's a really good deal. And uh, that'll end up being a fun deck of cards that you'll be able to use, like I said, in either a close-up setting or a parlor setting. Uh, what do they cover on the video? You're gonna get an intro. Paul's gonna talk about his inspiration. He's gonna show you the gimmick to deck and what makes it a gimmick deck. And then he'll talk to you about how to make the deck yourself. So you'll make the deck yourself. You'll probably need a blade and some glue, but Paul will even show you how to do it without any cutting materials whatsoever. And he'll give you a brief rundown of a tossed out deck routine. And then he's gonna give you some bonus ideas because really when you think about it, an Uno deck has both colors and numbers. So you could use this deck to uh, force a page in a book test or to force a number in a magic square or you could even force a color. The last 10 minutes of the video, you're gonna get real world performances from Paul. You'll get a close up performance that's in a restaurant and you'll get a large stage performance and you'll get all his patter. You'll see everything right there uncut completely. Pocket space is just a deck. If you've ever done tossed out deck before, you know it's a deck, right? It's a deck with a rubber band around it. That's all it is. Toss it out into the audience, what have you, and, and you have your routine. So it's a really small object. And when you think about it, you're paying you know, 20 bucks for it. That's a, that could be used as a stage prop, right? 20 bucks for a stage prop, a small prop that you could do a whole stage performance for or a parlor performance for, that's very 
inexpensive, right? That's a, that's a great little prop to have. Angles wise, um, if you've had a tossed out deck before, you know that they're 100% gimmicked, right? They're 100% gimmicked. So there's a little bit of audience management to kind of keep the gimmickness, the gimmickosity, right? The gimmick tude. <laughs> the features hidden. <laughs> so you don't want them ins inspecting it. You don't want them holding it for very long. A and so Paul's going to give you um, some pattern to use. And when you watch him do it with his spectators, both live and are both close up in parlor, he does pretty much the same pattern for both. It works really smoothly, works really smoothly. Okay. Um, so, so that's good. And as far as slice and difficulty level, you know, how hard is this? The hardest part is building the deck. The, the trick is self-working and requires the most minimalist amount of memorization. You're barely memorizing anything, barely, barely anything. Okay. Your you know, orientation, maybe that's, that's all you got to remember. So set up and reset. You're going to build the deck, right? You're going to go buy your props. You're going to build your deck. It'll probably take you 10, 15 minutes to build pretty easy. Right. And once you do build it, you got it forever. So it'll last you for a good long time. Positives. Hey, you're going to take the tossed out deck outside of the realm of playing cards and into the realm of something that's more creative and more playful. And whereas some spectators might even be suspicious of playing cards, right? Because everybody knows there are trick decks in the world and mark decks in the world. As soon as you seem to introduce a deck of Uno cards, then all of a sudden it feels innocent and playful and childlike. Oh, you're using an Uno deck. I've got one of those in my house right? So there's an instant familiarity, which means you have instant buy-in with your spectators, but their guard almost drops because they would think, well, of course there, there's no such thing as a gimmicked Uno deck, right? So that's kind of cool. Um, the negatives for this, right at the top of the show, or the video, Paul Fowler mentions that um, he did have a major uh, company that was going to come in and back this and distribute it, right? And it seemed like he was saying, that a deck would have been included, that would have been cool, right? Of course, to have a fully made gimmicked Uno deck, that would have been awesome. So I, he almost shouldn't have said that. <laughs> so now it made me think, oh, how, I, how could I get one? How could I get a, a one that was pre-made? So that would have been nice, right? Of course, that would have been nice. But like I said, building it is not hard at all. And, and I hate arts and crafts. This is so, so, so easy to make. So easy to make, so easy to make. Um, how much is it? It's 45 bucks, $45. And you can get it through your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Like I said, I saw it at uh, Penguin Magic for 45 bucks. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I can say about it. Um, Paul Fowler, check out some of the other reviews I've done for him. Uh, I reviewed Overdraft, right? Love that one and Transaction right? Remember that one? So I did those reviews. So if you're in a Paul Fowler mood, go check out those reviews as well. And a big, huge thanks to him and Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing. I know you've seen me in my videos wear this shirt a lot, the, the Magic Orthodoxy brand shirt. And I don't know if you know this, but this is not just a merch shirt. This is not just a shirt that has my brand. This is actually a magic trick. This is a magic reveal t-shirt that is available exclusively at my Teespring store. It was actually designed in Melbourne, Australia, and it is your 30 minute secret weapon because it looks like a seemingly innocent vintage tea, but all over this are six different magic reveals. So you got ESP reveals, coins, cards, the toxic forces on here, even a movie and a lot more. You can use this as the grand finale of your entire close-up act. It's available in maroon, black, and gray. And I have another YouTube video that completely explains how to do a reveal for each one of these tricks. So I actually have a magic tutorial for this t-shirt on my channel. So it's, it's there, it tells you all about it if you want to learn more. Uh, or you can just go down to any one of the graphics that are down there. That'll take you out to the Teespring store if you click one of those. And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support.